What a shift start, though, boys. Standing start specialist is going to be on. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my, my engine cut out. Start. God. God damn it. Jimmy here and welcome back to another video. So last week or last two weeks ago, whenever the feck it was, I did a video that was basically driving one of the slowest F1 cars that has ever been made, the Lola from the 1997 F1 season. And the comments of that video were pretty much filled with one response and that, that was that the Lola wasn't indeed the worst F1 car ever made. There was one that I had overlooked. But little did you guys know I had not overlooked it, far from it in fact. But we'll get into that a little bit later. Now the car mentioned by you guys oh so often was the Life F1 car from the 1990 F1 season. This car was all kinds of jank. <laughs> so I'm going to read you a couple of paragraphs from the Life Wikipedia article to sort of give you an idea what this car was all about. So on paper and to the naked eye, it actually looked pretty damn cool. Sort of like a baby Ferrari W12 engine, which I think was probably the last W configuration engine in F1, but for good reason. And it looked fairly sleek, uh, but it wasn't at all. So the W12 engine was by far the least powerful engine on the grid, uh, outputting about 480 horsepower when other teams were putting out about 700 horsepower. <laughs> so little deficit there uh, and the chassis that they did choose the uh, l190 was actually the heaviest chassis on the grid so least powerful and heaviest which led to some terrible handling meaning that the car was actually probably slower than the f3000 car from the same era but that isn't even the good bit so in the first few rounds of the season the car just didn't pre-qualify at all and in brazil it coasted to a halt after only 400 yards running down the pit lane because it turns out the mechanics were on strike and didn't put any oil in the engine. It was also reported that the tachometer didn't work, so you had no idea what sort of RPM you were doing or what sort of speed you were doing. And that the team didn't even possess a tyre pressure gauge. They had to borrow it from next door. And just to put that into context, when Tom and I went to Brands Hatch to uh, drive the Yaris and MX-5, even we had a tyre pressure gauge. And basically, it was just downhill from there. I mean, the car, to its credit, tried to qualify for 14 of the 16 rounds of the 1990 F1 season, but didn't even reach pre-qualifying. So, yeah, basically was a laughing stock to everybody. And, uh, and and I'm fairly sure the life holds one of the most interesting records in F1 history, which is uh, time off the pace in pre-qualifying. Now, obviously, there's a story to be told here. I think the car had several technical issues on the way around the lap, but the car was nearly six minutes slower than the second slowest time for pre-qualifying for the San Marino Grand Prix. Poggers. So obviously this car is fecking terrible, but it didn't actually exist in any sort of sim anywhere, not to the terribleness that we wanted to simulate. So I spoke to a good friend of mine, a friend that you probably know who I'm talking about, but again, I don't know if he wants to be named, so I'm not going to name him. But uh, one of the things that he modified, shall we say, is the mapping of the car. So at different throttle ranges, the car reacts differently on torque and on throttle. And in most cars, it's sort of, you know, a relatively sort of nice curve up. In this thing, it looks like some guy having a heart attack. <laughs> it really does. It just does this. So I've been told that in some circumstances, being on 80% throttle might be better for me than being on 100% throttle. Makes no sense. In fact, the bullet points my good friend has uh, laid out for me is poor air fuel mapping, very inconsistent throttle behavior, runs hot, wears quickly, big random engine life factor, Poor car construction quality, scary. Left hand is oversteery, right hand is understeery. And doing a hot lap 20 seconds of the pace whilst filling. <laughs> it's a, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna say the time, but it's a long way off. Imola hot lap, filling like a center whilst being passed by people on their inlap. As starter, but even that is bad. If it doesn't crank, try being full throttle in first gear, then press the starter. Starter will, will, starting will happen between five and 15 seconds. Don't press full throttle when engine starts up, or it will instantly stall again. Uh, 
It's going to be wow. uh, before we get into what is sure to be some absolutely top tier suffering. If you enjoy this video at any point, feel free to tap that like button and subscribe as well. And I've got to say a thank you for 777,000 subscribers. We are rocketing towards 800k. Thank you all so much. Uh, hopefully this video won't be a reason for you to unsubscribe. Blame the car, not me. So let us commence the cursing. Here we are in Automobile East. And as you can probably see, we have Life W12 1990 bad. And here is the cutie. Um, yeah, not looking great. Interesting story about this engine cover, by the way, that uh, the W12 engine was actually replaced for the last two attempts at pre-qualifying for this car with a uh, Judd V8. And then because of that, this engine cover didn't fit properly. So it, it flew off basically in its first outing and the car just ran like this so in that spirit i am actually going to keep the uh, the engine cover off just to give us that you know that proper mad max look and given how abysmal this team was uh, and all the stories that came out of it we've gone ahead and put on probably the worst setup we could to try and really emulate the ignorance of the guys at life right, so here we are in the pit lane in our in our life and the first hurdle we have to get past is actually starting this fucker up so uh Let's uh, give it a go. Give it some throttle. It's all right. Take your time, mate. So, oh, okay. We're away. And as soon as we're away, we've got to be out of the pit lane because it will, at low RPM, it will bog to the point of it just turning off, as you can see there. So, got to be very, very careful. A couple of quick guys out on circuit already. Let's follow them out. Look at that. Sprightly now. Now we're going. Now we're moving. Trying to find where the best power is. 150 mile an hour. We're going to make it. Not quite. Oh, please stop, please stop. Oh my god! Clear. <laughs> I had to just get myself out of the way there. Otherwise, that would have been it. So, yeah, we're really struggling to find any sort of pace. It's not fast anywhere. In the corners, it's terrifying. On the straights, it's too slow. And you spend a lot more time looking in your rear view mirrors than you do actually. Oh my god. You do actually looking forward. And this is why pre qualifying was actually a bit of a, bit of a blessing back in the day, because there were teams like this that existed that were so bad. Oh my god. So bad that. One, it would be an embarrassment, and two, a danger. Like, you think the speed difference some of these guys is like upwards of 50, 60 mile an hour when they get here. Look at the guy behind me now, look. I'm having to break. Right. Go through. Okay, here we go. Blue flag. Right, time for a hot lap for the life, boys. Oh, this is my corner, don't steal it. No, oh, God. Right. They're getting feisty behind. I cannot afford any contact. The car does not work, is it? No, the line is there. God damn it. This is like if I made a car. Oh, we're away. Our lap time was a 304. <laughs> I wonder how slow this thing looks, though. Must look just abysmal going round. But here we go, onto our hot lap. 304 to beat. Give me the draft, give me the draft. Give me anything at this point, please. No, 150. There goes Senna. The draft was lovely. I still have to break earlier than they break, and they're carrying literally 50 more mile an hour than I am. We're rolling her through, like, no input through there, because the car's trying to murder you. Okay. That was actually not bad through there. I feel like I'm driving like a bit of a boss man, but I'm just a mild 14 seconds off the pace there. Oh god, corners. My greatest weakness. We're up a second on our PB though. The guys back in the pits are gonna love that. <laughs> Don't diet me up here. I need to break so early. Yeah, good. Didn't dive me. Don't. Oh, I'm a lap. My absolutely flawless lap. That was going to be pole, mate. Three seconds up. Come on. Oh, my God. It is. Don't push me. Please don't push me. I know I'm slow. Push me now. What's the time going to be? Oh, it's a 48-4. 
only 30 seconds off air and center there. I think we're ready for the race, boys. There's our grid, and uh, here I am, down the bottom, of course, as expected. So we have five laps of Imola to try and get through here. I genuinely do not know whether we will actually last the race or not. I have a feeling we're going to get absolutely feckin' steamrolled by the AI. We are 30 seconds a lap slower, so we should be getting lapped on about lap three. Uh, start on lap four if everything goes okay for the guys at the front, so... Um, let's just fucking get into it, I guess. <laughs> well, let's try and go. Oh, for feck's sake! It's, it's cut out! Come on, dump him! Got anything? Yeah, it's me! Come on, move! Come on, go, you piece of shit! Half throttle. Come on. The guys have come to see us race. They've come to see Scuff Ferrari, alright? We're here. Oh, we're away this time. It's a great start. By the time we get down to T1, we are only 25 seconds behind the next last guy. We can still win this, I reckon. This is further than the real-life car ever got. It tried to qualify, sorry, pre-qualify. even get through to the proper qualifying session. Uh, 14 times and didn't succeed once. And now I've got to uh, put together all I've learned from the incredibly scuffed practice slash qualifying I did earlier on. And just... No, we're going to just try our best. What we can really do. That's what Mr. Life would have wanted. Oh, God, the curves are scary. And the thing is, because the engine is all sorts of random and all sorts of not worky, it, we sort of find ourselves randomly getting power spikes <laughs> at odd times. It's quite hard to predict. Shh. Okay, we're good. Oh, God. Go through the corner. And we're actually... Oh, we, we're going to overtake someone. Where's Boosen? He's had a crash somewhere. And again, on pace and skill alone. The Life F1 car beats. Oh god, there's a gear there somewhere. Oh god, god. shut up, Timmy. Just go around. We are a minute behind already. Oh my god. If a map just car should be taken into a dark room and beaten. 218. Right, 148 was my qualifying time. That's going to be our time to try and beat. All right, how much throttle can I actually give it? That's good. 150. Go see 151. No, I don't. But I can think about it. All sorts of wobbly on the way through. Only the 27 seconds faster than our last lap. Nothing to do with our stalling on the grid. We might get lapped this lap on lap two. That is depressing. We might get lapped twice in this race. Oh my god. Come on, depression wagon. This is, without a doubt, worse than the Lola. The Lola at least felt like it was kind of a car. This feels like... It's like a Meccano set, you know, that's been given a petrol engine. And some working parts. Come on, don't get lapped this lap. They're going to be in my mirror any second. Fast lap two without getting lapped. Come on. <laughs> it's such a handful. Oh. <laughs> there they are. The line's there. Come on. Come on. Come on, get to the line before they get me. Yes, I made it two laps without being lapped. The real victory in this race. Oh, here come the boys. Going to get the draft. Come on, pull me along. Oh my. Oh my I'm going! <laughs> oh, I'm so scared right now. Your man's about to get bully tars. I'm good, mate. Don't worry about it. Overtake, 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 overtake. No. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I'm about to get killed. I'm about to get killed. Oh, <laughs> God. No, they broke me! They broke the poor life! That doesn't sound good. Come on! We've got to get... What's... What's happened? Something substantial has happened. It sounds like suspension. I'm not turning left anymore. I think real left suspension... Oh! Get fucked, whoever that was! I'm by! Come on, only one more lap to get through. In the struggle bus. Oh, now we're getting the speed. I suspect it's going to be just an absolutely almighty crash in a minute, but you know what? I'm sort of here for it. Come on. Come on, scuffed life. It's you and me, baby. We have this. Oh. Am I going to get lapped again? Come on, go. Go, 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 go. Come on. It's just... When the pace difference isn't so bad, then you know this is how broken this car is. But on the other side, I am up two places. So I am probably the best driver of all time. Right, am I going to get... Is this my last lap? I don't even know. 
I think this is my last lap, right? I don't think they're going to get me. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm f <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. It's just all sorts of broken. No. You Hello, fans. No. Ah, oh, I'm in wing. <laughs> Bono. Come on. Cal's still good. Might get some speed now on the straight. Come on. I think I've leveled it out. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. Because that's our race over. We've already been lapped. It don't matter. And now, yeah, I just can't turn at all. Let's pop the engine. Pop, damn it. Pop. Nope. It survived. Oh, no. There he goes. The sad, sad eyes of my boy, Brungleborg. He went from seven wins in Mushroom Cup. Driving this shit house at Imola. No one deserves that. It's still broken. Well, guys, that was the Life F1 car in all its glory. Um, even though I damaged it, it didn't seem to really make it any slower. Uh, well, apart from the wind came off eventually, but it, it was just bad everywhere. Thanks to like, the bad mapping as well and uh, the, the kind of scuffed setup. I think it gave it a really good idea of what this car would have been like to drive in real life, which is dangerous, inconsistent, and just hilariously slow. You can usually use it back to describe my driving, but here it describes the life perfectly. Now, if you guys enjoyed seeing me suffer in the Life F1 car, I very much appreciate you tapping that like button. You can subscribe as well. And again, a massive thank you to everybody for the support over the last couple of 24-hour races. I know I've not been around too much recently. I've had a lot of real-life stuff I had to deal with, uh, mainly like real-life racing stuff, which is really damn cool. Um, had to go for a medical the other day. I got poked. But my schedule is freeing up a bit more now, so more content, more streams coming your way. Take care, have an awesome day. See you all next time.